Hello, today we're going to create a BBC Microbit program called Ticketing System and you can find more about it on my blog 101computing.net. Now the idea is you've all been to a shop where you're waiting to be served and you sometimes have to grab a ticket with a number on it. There is an LED screen that tells you which number is currently being served and this number goes up by one every time a new customer has been served. So the whole system is based around the idea of a counter that starts at zero and then the shop assistant should be able to press a button to increment which means to add one to this counter so it goes zero and one and two and customer three and four and so on. So we're going to do that. We're also going to give an option for the shop assistant to uh, when they make a mistake to decrement so if they've pressed the button too many times they will be able to go back to a previous value for our counter and finally we're also going to do an option where um, the shop assistant can actually reset the counter completely to zero now to code all of this we're going to use the bbc microbit website and we're going to go to the block editor view okay here's the bbc microbit um, code window where I can um, select my different blocks and the emulator that I can use to test my program. Our ticketing system will be based on one single variable called counter um, so I'm going to create that first. So variables I'm going to select where it says set item but I'm going to straight away rename it rename my variable to counter. Here we go and to start with my counter will be equal to zero so i'm going to go in the mass section to select the zero block and that's it and i'm going to display it on my led screen so i'm going where it says basic at the top here show number but i don't want to show number two i want to show whatever is stored in my counter so to start with it's zero perfect so let's test this program so far. If I run it, I should see the number zero appearing on the screen. It's a bit slow, but it's going to come. Yeah, perfect. So that's the first part of my program. I'm now going to implement uh, what happens when the user press the A button, which is an input. So I'm going to go input, on button A being pressed. All I want to do is increment, so add one to my counter. And I can do that within the variable section. I can change the value of my counter by one, which means it's going to add one to the current value. Okay. And of course, what I need to do now is show the number because it's changed. So I'm going to back to basic. Actually, I can right click on this one here, duplicate, and I'm going to slide this in. Perfect. Let's test our program so far. Run and here we go. So to start with I'm on zero. Every time I press the A button my counter is incrementing. So basically a new customer has been served. Next customer is customer number four. Um, let's see what happens if I've got 10 customers because this is only working for one digit. Let's see if I've got and 10 customer, what happens? 9 and 10. Okay, perfect. So when I've got 10 customer, it's going to scroll through on the screen. Perfect. So we've done what happens when I press button A. We're going to use very similar code to cancel, so to decrement the counter by one in case we've pressed A too many times. So I'm going to duplicate this whole section by right clicking on it. And this time it's when I press button B, I want my counter to change by minus one. That's the code to decrement. Perfect. Let's try this. It's going to refresh. Excellent. So zero. Next customer. Next, next, next. Oh, I've pressed it too many times. I'm going to press the B button and it's going down again. Perfect. Okay, last option, we said that when the user will press both button, which on this emulator is by pressing this button here, we want the counter to go back to zero. So I'm going to use 
my input again when button A is pressed, but this time it's when button A and B, when both buttons are pressed, we're going to set our counter. So I'm going to duplicate that to zero and we're going to show our counter. So I'm going to duplicate that as well. And that's it. That should be um, it in terms of coding our ticketing system. Let's try it one last time because we haven't tested what happens when we reset the counter. So let's see what happens. So I'm starting at zero. I'm in incrementing my counter. I'm going down if needs be. I can go up again. And if I press A plus B, it's starting again at zero and I can start again. Excellent. Well, that's it. That's all I wanted to do for today. Um, that's perfect. Thanks for watching. Uh, remember, you can go on my blog, 101computing.net, uh, for more challenges to do with the BBC Microbit or other technologies such as Python, JavaScript, HTML, and Scratch. Thank you. Bye.